Hey guys, uh, this is Chris. Okay, uh, right now, uh, let me send you uh, the video. Let me show you the video how we plug um, the difficult cards, the difficult program in the box. The main board is the original IGS Fish Game main board. The extra parts, one program drive, one remote box and a one yellow box one USB cable okay and here is another cable okay this when we if you buy the original IGS fish game board from us we will send you this black box this green control box and a few wire but if you want to buy the difficult cards then we will send you this three stuff one two three okay the four this stuff but if you have the original igs fish game main board in your hand and right now if you want to upgrade the software from the original to the enhanced main board and which means it contains difficult cards okay so you will need to buy this one and right now let me show you how we operate okay so let me ask engineers to help us. Thank you. Give me some seconds. Let's have So first, we should connect the main board on the testing platform, or we put the main board in the machine. And you have to make sure the main board is connected with power. OK? So first, we connect the power to the main board and after you connect the, the power you have to wait another five minutes and which means you have to make sure the main board has been loading from zero to 100 percent and which means the main board is working perfectly and then that time we can use our remote control to get it enhanced okay so right now let's check how our engineer operates on that okay so first this is the cable the engineer already connected okay we have to use a monitor you have to use a TV or your touch monitor or something, you know. It's work, it's, it's work, it's working. So, our engineer will find a monitor first. And he will put the power and then connect the VGA cable. You see, the VGA cable is a blue color and we already connected. One end connect to the TV one end to connect to the main boards and right now he got a power supply and then to support power to the main boards you see there is a power supply to support the votes to the main boards right now the game starts so right now you cannot use your control to enhance and say, hey, Chris, hey, it's not working. So we have to wait the main board loading from zero to 100. The main board work, will work properly at that time. And we are supposed to work. Okay? <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay, wait a second. You see, um, the, the, there is uh, lights that stands for the main board right now is starting, but it, it's not finished. So we have to wait. Okay. We have to make sure the main board is working perfectly. So if you don't connect the monitor, you don't know when will it will be ready. Okay. You see, right now it's still loading. So which means you have to wait at least, I guess, five or six minutes every time. If you want to try, it's right now it's, it's still loading. 
right now it's 42%. <coughs> 44. Okay, it will work sometime. Okay, let's get some patience. And uh, right now, 61 percent. Okay, right now, it's a Buffalo Zander. No matter it's Buffalo Zander or the Zombies Awaken or some other main boards, it works perfectly. It's fine. You see, right now, the game is working properly, okay? Okay, so, so first, you have to connect the difficult cards perfectly, okay? The wire, you have to make sure it's right. So, there is an extra, an extra, the, the drive. So we have to replace, you know, the one in the original main boards. The one is not enhanced difficult cards. So we have to open the box and to replace. You see? Okay, this is uh, the drive. Okay, we have to replace the drive. Okay, replace the drive. Okay, mm. So first we should take the screws of the main board off. This is the difficult cards and this is the original fish game boards. So we have to open and then replace You also have to use the tools to take this cruise off. Okay, this is uh, the difficult cards. We already enhanced the software insights. You have to f replace first. Okay, so then here. After we replaced the drive from this one we take it out and then we put the difficult label one we put it here and then you cover <laughs> and then you put all the screws the back And then throw it away. Okay? When you buy the original IGS, you ha you after you re replaced, then it's no use. Okay? You can throw in the garbage in the cash train. And right now, the main board is the with the difficult cards. And then right now we change the difficulty label.
So when you try to change the difficulty level, you have to wait for the main boards starting normally, and then you can change the difficulty levels, okay? So right now, if I want to press the remote control, it's not working because the game has not been loading well, okay? So we have to wait for the main boards to load perfectly and then it will work. Okay, right now the game is still loading. You see, the game is still loading. You see, after it loads 100% then we can use the remote control to adjust the difficulty level you see right now the game is working so I have to use you see I have to use this to adjust Okay, wait a second. Ne? Tatlı mı? Nerede? Nice de bak. So every time, if you want to change the difficulty level, you have to make sure the main board is working. You know, even this is a page. When you connect the VGA cable, it shows this page. You cannot at just difficult level okay after it loading to the game you can operate okay and the most important thing this is the VGA cable and this is the USB cable there are two USB you see one is up one is down you have to connect the USB to okay you have to connect the USB 2 and the deep switch of the main board must be like this okay right now the game is loading okay the game is working right now I will change the difficult you see when I try to press you see max the max max the, the difficulty level will be 49 remember after you adjust the difficulty 49 and then the game is most difficult and restart the machine okay you have to restart the machine you see every time after you adjust the difficulty level okay and then you don't have to take the yellow box off okay you have to keep it inside of the machine because every time you can open the box and then check the difficulty levels the current difficulty levels you see right now it's 24 but if you i want to add i will have to press the number b buttons b You see, I can adjust it higher to 49.
You see? 49 is most difficult, remember. Okay? If you want to minus, then you have to press the, the buttons B. Okay? So you can take it away or you can leave it here of the yellow box after you adjust it. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.